Hey guys, it's Brandon, aka B Rich Beauty, aka your beauty best friend. What's going on, beauty besties? Uh huh, we're here, we're doing it. We are recreating one of the looks from Beyonce's new album, Act One of Renaissance. So, you know what to do grab your beverage. Let go! besties welcome on in but before we jump into all the makeup magic of it all what y'all sipping on over there who me just a little spicy mango lemonade with a little something extra added a little vodka you know this drink actually would be good i heard with a little bit of tequila but y'all know i don't mess with that devil tequila child so i had a little bit of vodka to it so cheers to you sugar <laughs> oh that's spicy so all right, besties, y'all know I, we, all of us have been obsessed with act one of Renaissance, baby. I got my box. Did y'all get y'all box? Y'all order one of these boxes? Baby, I ordered it and inside the box came the shirt, the CD, a little miniature poster inside along with a little picture book as well. But y'all know I am obsessed with the makeup looks that have been curated for this collect for this album for, by the amazing makeup artist, Francesca Tollet, right? And I told y'all I was gonna recreate one of these looks for y'all, but before we do this, let's pause for the cause. For all the new beauty besties, welcome on in. So good to see y'all. While y'all here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications, sugar, so you don't miss out on all this good old melanated magic. And for all my beauty besties that's not new to this, but they're true to this, welcome on in. Y'all know I love seeing y'all. And I'm so excited to see y'all because we are doing, bam, this makeup today. We're basically doing the makeup that is on, I don't know why I'm like, we're basically, so I've decided that we're going to do basically the makeup look from this look of Lady Godiva Beyonce sitting on this silver horse. It's giving me very night at a disco. It's giving me very di uh, chocolate dip Lady Godiva. It's giving me new weave, new weave, 22 inches. It's giving me all of that and more. And bam, I am obsessed with this look. I'm gonna do a zoom close up picture of it right here. And I said, we're gonna do this look. Now I ain't got no tickle bitties like Beyonce, nor do I have a little chain metal link fence line around my house for me to put on, but we're gonna do it some justice. And so this is the makeup look that we're doing today. Y'all excited? Let's get started. So the good thing is, I'm gonna start first with my brows. I'm just gonna clean up and add a little bit of concealer underneath my brows. It's not a floating brow. Francesca did not do a floating brow on Beyonce. I just needed a little bit of brightness under my brows because technically they kind of need to be done. What I love about this look, and I think I want to start here, is because this is a look that's not overly complicated, that's super easy. And you know, the best part is all y'all probably got all the makeup to, to, to do this look already in your makeup bag, in your bathroom and everywhere else in between. So all you got to do is dig out some neutral shadows, find you a good old freakum red lip, and bam, you looking like the cover of Beyonce's album. Yes, God. So anyways, we're gonna, <laughs> this drink got me a little spicy and excited. So we're gonna go ahead, um, I'm gonna go ahead with me and all of my personalities, plus y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and even out my brow and throw on a brow real quick, and then we're gonna jump into the eyes, okay? All right, so I did brows and I decided to add a little more coverage to my face. First up, Prep and Prime 24 Hour Base as our primer for the eye with my fluffy brush like so, grabbing a mirror like this, starting in the center like that, and bringing this all the way over the lid and up like boop, okay? Did y'all get that? Y'all need me to repeat it? I think y'all got it. Next step, I'm gonna utilize the MAC Art Library Nude Model Palette because it gives me almost everything I need in here. There's some nice bronzy neutrals with a little tint, um, pinch of gold. There's also a nice little um, neutral that has a little bit more of a champagne, a little peachy, rosy, well, excuse me, a little bit more rosiness to it. And then we have a nice deeper color here, almost close to black. And so it kind of gives me everything I need in this one palette. So I'm gonna actually start with almost like these two medium cool browns, just to kind of sculpt out my lid and kind of also change the shape a little bit in the socket area and bring it up on the outer corner, up this way, and very lightly creating a shadow here to act as a template to follow, like so. So we're pulling it up this way, almost kind of connecting it for me with the from the socket and pulling it to where my brow starts. 
as a little bit of a contour trick as well and pulling it back down. So very light. You can even if you want to do a little underneath to kind of map. I'm not going to do a lot because we're definitely going in, as you can see with this picture, with a black and we're going to really sculpt the eye out. This is also the reason why I call it Night of the Disco because it gets very 70s feel with the shape and the intensity. And so, ooh, just yes, lovely. All right, next up, we're going to do this peachy kind of like uh, bronzy type of color on the lid all over. A flat brush like so. And we're gonna start right on the lid in the center. Oh, that's perfect. And we're gonna just bring this in. We're gonna pull this up over the lid. While we're doing this, y'all might as well go ahead and tell me what is your, oh, that's pretty, right? What is your favorite song off of this new album? And it's okay if you have more than one, cause baby, let me tell you something. Cuff it to energy, to break my soul, to church girl. Ooh, ooh, it's a vibe. Not to mention Pure Honey and the Summer Renaissance. I think those are my favorites off the album right now. I know it's, it's like six and I'm like, ooh, six of these are my favorite. And you know, just depending on the mood each day, it changes. And I may, cause y'all know today, Sunday. I may or may not have added Church Girl to my gospel playlist. Cause I mean, it's all in the spirit of gospel, right? Uh, don't judge me. But let me know what your favorite Beyonce song or songs are off this album. All right, so now that we have this color on, look how pretty. So I pulled this up to really kind of like round out and open up the eye some. I'm gonna go back with the fluffy brush just to kind of blend out the lines. Take a dab of this medium brown. And right through here, we're gonna start to bring up some shadow and depth. Y'all know I would play a little Beyonce in the background, but y'all won't get me with that copyright YouTube. So y'all just gonna have to hem along your head or play it um, while y'all watch this video, okay? But a little on low so y'all don't drown me out. But what y'all think so far? Again, we're building in the shadow here and the intensity like this. Next up, I'm taking coffee liner and I'm going to pull up underneath and begin to work this shape that we see here. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna pull this in. And coffee is this nice blackened chocolate brown. I'm gonna use this to begin to create this look, this night of the disco. Smaller brush like this, I need to move this side to side. So this is gonna help to do just that without making this too big and blown out just yet. Yeah, perfect. If you have a smaller brush, this is the brush you wanna use to move your eyeliner around like this. Yeah, perfect. Going back in with a little bit of the darker color now, and we're just gonna use this as a way to kind of like set and begin to really work through here. So taking this right down here and we're pressing it in to begin to build this intensity on the outer corner. Now, what you're going to need in a moment is your black liner. So your whatever your favorite black liner is, you want it to be creamy, nothing too drying, because we gotta work that. I'm gonna work this on top of what we did here with the um, coffee liner, this black and chocolate. Yeah, perfect. Now, I also love this because y'all know, Beyonce doesn't do a lot of like heavy, heavy makeup typically. And in this case, you're getting black liner on the bottom. You're getting a very like, 70s type of makeup look. And we're gonna pull from underneath this way. And we're gonna follow that shape here. That what we did with the coffee liner. Um, and it's giving me again, very much like Donna Summers feel for B. And I love, love, love that for her. And for this look here. Now don't go too crazy with your black pencil because you still have to blend out. And that's where we're, we're gonna actually, let's pull this in just a little bit more. Uh, Francesca did not pull this in all the way on Beyonce. So we're not gonna pull it all the way in, but we're gonna definitely pull this in this way and like that. Now, for symmetry purposes, I'm gonna say go ahead and do both eyes at the same time. So that way you don't struggle with having to go in on the other eye and try to balance this out. So do your shapes together um, simultaneously so that way your symmetry 
can be as symmetrical as possible. Okay, guys? So I'm doing exactly that. Remember that little flat, smaller brush? Mm-hmm, we need it again. So go ahead and use that. You begin to pull this in and make this darker. And if you notice in the picture, Francesca didn't really bring the liner into her waterline either, which kind of keeps the eyes slightly open. So we're not gonna pull this into our waterline. Perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. Take the deeper shadow and we're gonna Pack that on top to set this and to make it nice and sultry. All right, so I have the shape on. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of that lid color and we're gonna use that to brighten through here. And we're gonna pull up just a little. Taking this bleach gold color with our pencil brush. I'm gonna do that on the inner here because there's two tones of neutrals on this eye. And so that's going to go here, like so. Concealer is going in now to not only brighten, but to clean up. Like that. And then the next step, if you look at the image, it's almost like there's a piece of light right in the corner against the lash line. So I'm gonna take this lighter bleach color that we use for the inner tear duct, and I'm gonna apply just that right through here. So it doesn't look like Francesca utilized a lash here, but I mean, I feel like you almost need a lash with this. So here's what I'm going to do today. Uh, we're gonna do a reverse lash. So I'm gonna curl my lash, and I'm gonna do some mascara like so, using my Max Stack Mascara. I'm taking an oldie but goodie lash that I always keep on reserve, honey, the MAC number seven. And I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna actually take my um, uh, little lash scissors, and I'm gonna cut the number sevens right down the center. My lash glue is going on the end here of this lash, it's gonna go on this eye. When I say a reverse lash, y'all know what I mean? Y'all getting nervous? Which I think I'm, which I think I mean by a reverse lash, sugar. All right, so the best way to do a reverse lash is if you have a mirror, please put it down on a flat surface and just look down. I don't have a flat surface, I'm gonna have to hold this. This lash is going underneath like so. Like that. So in this case, the reverse lash here makes this look like a really natural lash that's growing out of my own eye. And you can't, <laughs> y'all see that reverse lash, honey? Oh yes, baby, y'all better go for this, this reverse lash. I want y'all to try this reverse lash moment and y'all let me know what y'all think. But the reverse lash here makes it look like the lash is coming out naturally. Got a little mascara on my lid, I'll fix that. Um, and so therefore, it doesn't look like we're wearing a huge, super duper big lash and it allows the eye to still be seen the way it is for Beyonce. Francesca used a little bit of blush on Queen Bee, so I'm just gonna take, I'm cheating, I have a lipstick palette, a red little lipstick palette by MAC. So I'm just taking literally one, two, three. Um, one, two, three, yep. And I'm gonna just bring the blush back a little bit further this way. Take my fan brush and work that in a little bit higher and down this way. Adding in my contour, taking a little bit of highlight, not a lot. I'm gonna do a little right through here and a little right up in here as well. All right, so let's be real. Beyonce typically overdraws slightly the top of her lip to make it a little bit more rounded. I ain't doing that. Y'all see these super coolest, these god given lips? Mm-hmm. I'm following my natural lip shape, but I'm gonna use my lip pencil in Brick by MAC. And we're gonna use that to lay on our shape for our red lip. Okay, so I may have followed my lip shape right into the max. As I was doing this, I literally started realizing I was working on the ridge of my lip. So it is a little bit fuller, but I didn't go outside the actual lip shape. Now for the lip colors, I'm taking two because I couldn't make a decision on what red that I wanted here. So I'm doing Yay, I'm Fancy and E for Effulet 
by um, MAC is the Love Me Liquid Lips. I'm gonna just do a little bit of both. The E for Effortless has this, is like this beautiful blue red and yay, I'm fancy. It's almost like an orange type of red. So I said, you know what? We're gonna mix these together. The lip isn't super glossy here. It has just the perfect amount of sheen. And so this will give me the best of both worlds. Okay, so the lip is on, but before I spray my face, I want you to know I went back in and I added just a pinch of this on the inner corner this way, just to give it a little bit more color and, a little, and to round it out a little bit more. But this is it, the look is on. Oh wait, let me go ahead and do a, a little Fix Plus day over, because you know, why hang out all night? Ha <laughs> ha, when you can stay over. A little 16 hours of wear, it's gonna set my makeup. I am ready, we are set, we are locked in. Baby, I had no chain link fins just randomly lying around the house, I need to show off my tiggle bitties. And if y'all don't know what that's from, that's from Church Girls. But I said I was gonna give y'all a little gray action, a little silver, honey, give you a little Beyonce. What was mother giving in the picture? Ooh, ow, serving face. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know in the comment. Again, what's your favorite song off the album? Tell me what your thoughts are about this look here. Again, very 70s disco, you know, Lady Godiva type of feel here. And if you want to see me do any other looks from the bevy of looks, because y'all know Mother served looks for this album. So if y'all want to see any other looks, drop it in the comment as well and let me know. And on that note, guys, I got to go. You know what to do. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave me a comment. Well, so while you check the notifications and make sure they're turned on so you don't miss out on all this good old melanated magic sugar. Who loves you? <laughs> I do. See you next time. Bye.